Hello, Truman with Park Tool Company here, and you're joining us on another Tech Tuesday. This one happens to be in isolation. Uh, there are some essentials of the um, there are some essential tools out there, but many are over, you know, mm. Hello, Truman with Park Tool Company here. There are some essential tools out there, but many pale in comparison to certain measuring tools. Measuring tools can help you find out the parts you need, what tools you need to work on those parts, determine the wear on certain items, be able to duplicate certain fitting parts from one bike to another bike, and the list kind of goes on and on and on. Here at Park Tool, we offer a few different types of measuring devices. We offer our SBC1 ruler. We've had it for quite some time. You can use it to measure length in both inch and metric. So millimeters or inches, either one. You can also measure bearing sizes in these holes. You can also measure spoke length. You can hook the end of a J-bend in here and measure the spoke length. We also offer a measuring tape, the RR12. Uh, that's for you know different needs around the shop, measuring distances, how big of a space you have, measuring saddle heights, measuring from no the tip of the saddle to the handlebars, stuff like that, very useful. We also offer one, so a couple different scales, but then we also offer a more detailed measuring device, the DC1, and this is what today's topic is gonna cover. Let's first take a look at the parts of a digital caliper. This is the main beam, which is typically made of a strong, rigid material. It is the backbone of the tool and is also the home of the main scale. These numbers here. And it has a digital display, as you can see there. It measures, um, it has three different modes. You can go from metric and measure in millimeters. You can then go to um, fractional inch, which will give you a fraction, you know, um, one quarter, and it'll actually tell you that on here. Uh, you can also measure it in fractional decimal, so 1.2345 inches. The main jaws, which you see here, or outside measuring jaws, are typically the most commonly used measuring faces on the digital calipers, and are typically used to tell you the outside diameter of an item. You can see there's a little space in the back here. You don't measure things in there. You want things to be measured in this space. And before using it, you typically want to clean those spaces off. Just the wipe of a finger can clean all of that off. Notice the tapered ends on the main jaws. They can be used to get into the small spaces such as the valley of a thread or the spoke hole of a hub. This backside, this is for measuring the inner diameter of something or the how big something is on the inside. So say you had a bore, like on this hub, and you wanted to measure the diameter of that bore, you would then use these to do that. Move this around. The inside diameter of this is 27.99 millimeters. Or if you wanted to know the inside diameter of this ring, you could then measure the diameter of that tool fitting. 23.8. It could be a circle, it could be a square, it could be corner to corner, something like that. It doesn't have to be a diameter, um, it can be a couple different things. Uh, and then on the other side, so this outside measurement correlates to this inside measurement, which then correlates to the depth of this depth gauge. So as these move down, as this slides, that depth gauge comes down further. So say we wanted to know how deep from here, here is going into the deep 114.1 and then on the back side here right here you can see this is a met for measuring steps so you can see right here there's a small step right there and you can measure steps just like this let's say you have this step in this end cap you can then run that on this step and measure the step. What are some other features of this? What, what else can it do? 
Uh, one, one, one important part is how to use it, and that's, you know, part of it is the thumb wheel. This thumb wheel accurately moves it up and down in smooth fashion. It also, you can use that in a more detailed fashion than you could with the slide with your finger. So using that thumb wheel is nice and it's very handy. Uh, so once you get to a measurement, you can then lock it with this little locking screw, and then you can't adjust it, which is important, especially if you're doing some comparisons. Let's measure a couple different things. 114.11 there, lock that in place. You can now compare that with the outside measurement. The same. You could measure something, zero this, and then calculate the difference without having to do any calculations. 12.67, zero that out. Kind of the inside diameter here. It is about 0.04 millimeters, which means it should be a slip fit. So that's another installment of Stuck in Isolation. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You can find hundreds more videos like this one on our channel here on YouTube. And we're constantly working on more. So be sure to subscribe for the latest content from Park Tool. And check out our website, which has even more content to help you make your bike better.